Hello and welcome to the Different Strokes Exercise Programme. My name is John Graham, I'm the Clinical Director of Physiofunction, one of the UK's leading providers of independent outpatient stroke rehabilitation. I've worked with Different Strokes as an expert physiotherapy advisor for over 20 years. I've devised the classification system for this programme so that you can identify the level that matches your current abilities. Exercising at the correct level will allow you to benefit from exercising regularly at home whilst ensuring your safety at all times. I wish you every success with the programme. Before you begin any exercise programme or begin to follow any of the training recommendations, advice or other instructions, you should first consult your doctor and have a physical examination. The recommendations, advice and instructions provided by different strokes and the instructors leading these exercise sessions are in no way intended to replace or to be construed as medical advice. Build up slowly. Start with one to two sessions a week. Gradually increase to three to five sessions a week. This is your level one session, Matt. Level one sessions are designed for people who are unable to move their affected arm or leg. All the exercises are done whilst you're seated in your wheelchair or a sturdy armchair. No standing is required to perform any of the exercises. For your own safety and to gain the maximum benefit, you will need to ensure that you have a carer or a family member available to assist you during the class. Hi everyone, this is Matt and this is your Different Strokes Level 1, Session number 9, working on mobility and movement. So we do not need any equipment for this session, just your assistance to support with the exercises on the affected side. And please do make sure you have watched the guidance notes that come attached to this video workout. So we'll get started with our mobility and movement right from the start. And we're going to start with the head. So just gently turn in and looking over the shoulder, looking side to side. Okay, good, then look down and then up. So chin tucked into the chest and then head back looking up from the top. Okay, good. And now we're going to drop the ear to shoulder, side to side, so gently head to the middle and then ear to shoulder, head to the middle, ear to shoulder. Well done. Shrug your shoulders up and down. Lift your shoulders up high and then let them drop down again. Good, and then we're going to roll those shoulders. So pull your shoulders back and forwards.
Give them a change direction, shoulders back to forwards. Okay, with your non-affected arm, swing it forwards, up and down. So you're raising the arm up and down, working the mobility around the shoulder here. Good, and then let's repeat on the affected side. So with assistance, supporting the movement to raise the arm down to up, or doing it yourself by holding the wrist. Okay, very good, well done. And then we go back to the non-affected, hand by the side, we're gonna raise it out to the side and then down. So you can go gently out to the side to shoulder level, or you can go all the way up bicep to the ear, if you have that range of movement available to you. Good, then swap to the other arm. Again, arm coming up to the side assistance will be best helpful for this one. Just gently raising the wrist out to the side and then back down again. Okay, very good. Back to that non-affected, and this time we're going to start with the hand by the side and reach back. So hand down and back. Can't really see from the picture there, so it would be like this: hand down and back. So keep going on that non-affected side, reaching back behind you and back to the hip. Okay, good. And then swap into that affected arm again. Be best helpful with assistance, please. Just gently bringing the wrist back 
and to the side again. We don't want to pull it if it's tight. You can also bend the elbow and bring the elbow back if you need to do that. Again, if the range of movement isn't there on the straight arm, just make a slight adaptation to make it work. Okay, very good, well done. We'll go to the legs and then we'll come back to uh, the arms. Let's just give the arms a bit of a rest there by working the legs, okay. So what we're going to do, um, just some mobility first, we're just gonna do some kicking with your non-affected leg, okay. So step back and kick. Okay, very good. And then we'll do the same on the other leg. So again, with assistance, a hand on the ankle, just gently bring the leg forwards and back, or up a bit higher if we've got that looseness in the leg to do so. So taking that affected side to kicking. Okay, very good, well done. Going back to the non-affected leg and we're gonna take the knee all the way up to the side and then back in. So let's keep going with that one. Really open out the leg out to the side and then back in again. Okay, well done. And then again, we'll go to the affected side. We have support from our assistants to take the leg out and in. So really opening that leg out and coming back in again. That's good, let's keep it going. Okay, well done. Well there, back to your non-affected. And this time, we're going to lift the heel up and then bring the heel back down on the floor. So you're coming onto your tiptoe, push the toe into the floor, lifting up your heel.
Very good, well done. So doing that on the affected side, what we're looking to do is keep the hand down on the toe and just encourage the leg to lift, maybe a hand under the knee, keeping the toe down on the floor. So going on to your heel lifts on your affected side, just getting that calf muscle moving. Okay, well done, relax again. So last two movements we'll do with the legs before coming back up to the arms. We'll go back to the non-affected and then we'll do a heel tap followed by a toe tap. So point your toe up, then point your toe down. Heel, toe on the floor, heel, toe. So you're just moving the foot up and down. Okay, very good, well done. And then we're gonna do that on our affected side with support from our assistants, obviously. What we're looking to do is lift the heel and then lift the toe. So we're gonna keep the foot in contact on the floor, just roll from heel to toe. Let's see how we get on with that, that's good. Okay, so there, very good. Well done everyone. We're going to come back up to the upper body. So working both hands together with these movement exercises. Okay, so hold your wrist or the hands. We're going to start from the chest. Okay, and we're going to push out away and then back to the chest again. Okay, so that's going to be the first exercise for 60 seconds. And we'll start in 10 seconds time. So three, two, and one, reach your way, and hands back, reach your way, hands back, that's good, keep it going. Good, 30 more seconds. Keep that going, everyone. And time. Okay, take a 30 second rest. Well done. And then the next movement we're going to do will be raising the hands up to the chin, nose, forehead, or even higher, depending on the range of movement you have available to you with this mobility exercise. So you maybe hold the palm towards the chest this time on that affected hand.
Okay, and then raise up in front of your eyes. As high as you're able to, whether it's there or all the way up, do what you can, 60 seconds. Yeah, 10 to go. Well done, everyone. Okay, pause and stop there. Well done. Very good. Okay, so we're going to do some full body actions now. Okay, so we'll still be working both sides throughout these movements that we're going to do. We're going to do two sets of each for 45 seconds with a short rest in between. Okay, so take your knees apart. And the first one we're going to do is we're going to come down to the left foot, up to the top and down to the right foot. So the mobility reaches over the left knee, over the right knee. Okay, so keep that going from side to side for 45 seconds. We'll take a 30 second pause and do it again. Three, Two and one, where we go. So from knee to knee. Last one, good, so rest there. We'll pause for 30 seconds and then we'll go again. Okay, so you know the movement this time. If you want to push it a little bit further, if you're able to, you can. So reach further down, maybe towards the toes rather than the shin. Or you can carry on exactly how you just did it. Make it your exercise, how you wish. The key thing is, in the title, mobility and movement that we're moving. So here we go, three, two, one, and reach. Final five seconds, three, two, and one. Fantastic, well done everyone. Let's take a short pause again for 30 seconds. Okay, so the next mobility movement we're going to do, we're going to reach down towards the floor, and while we're there, we're then going to raise the arms forwards, back down, and then come up to seated again. So let's try that for 45 seconds. Reach down, raise your arms forwards, bring your arms back down, and sit up. Lean down, reach your arms, rest your arms, and sit up. Good, keep it going.
tends to go. Let's see if we can do it once more. Three, two, one. Good. Pause there. Rest for 30 seconds. Let blood flow the right way. You can get dizzy. Dipping your head down and up. Let's repeat that for the second set. Where you go, reach down, arms, arms down, and sit up. That's good. And pause there, everyone. Good work, fantastic. Have a minute rest this time, uh, a bit longer. And then we'll go to our last exercise for two sets. Okay, so what we're going to do for the last exercise, both hands together again, we're going to do a full circle. So we're going to reach to the outside of the knee, down over the ankles, and then up as high as you can over the eyes or the head and round. So you're going to keep looping round in that big circle. Okay, so we'll do that for 60 seconds. Just take your time doing it one side. Away you go. So over the ankles, right the way around the body, over the head if you can and round to the other side, that's good. So just slow and controlled. That's it, you're probably looking to do it seven or eight times over the minute. Good, well done, 10 more seconds. Once or twice more if you can. Well done, and take a pause again there. Just let, your, uh, let yourself get your bearings back <laughs> rather than what might be a bit dizzy or spinning. So just take a moment. Before we reverse the motion, then we're going to do it back the other way. So it'll be one last set, same exercise, but just rotating your arms back the other way. So again, going for 60 seconds, we'll start in five seconds time. So four, three, two, and one. Let's go over the ankles, up to the side, over the head if you can, down the side, and over the ankles again. Fifteen more seconds. Can you do two more? Uh, 
and pause there. We come to a finish on your mobility and movement. Well done, very good. It's nice to get your body moving, both the affected and non-affected sides. And thank you to the assistants for supporting with that. That's really good. Try and go through those again. It's good to get the blood flowing around your body. Uh, so we'll look forward to seeing you for your next session, which will be session number 10, focusing on cardio, resistance cardio. So make sure you have a dumbbell or something you can hold in your non-affected hand to uh, get our heart rates up again. So that will be next time. But well done during this session, and I'll see you then. Bye.